Well, good morning, Team Furious. How are you guys? As promised in the last vlog, we are gonna show you guys, or I'm gonna show you guys how I make my legendary ribs. Actually, my legendary ribs I've only tried to do once, but they turned out amazing, and I'm hoping that this happens again. Oh my God, we are bright. We're no longer bright. We got the smoker on, so that's one thing that you guess you need when doing these type of ribs, at least the ones that I'm going to be instructing right now. I've had this smoker for like two years now. It's a wood pellet grill. Yes, it's a wood pellet grill. That's what they call it. So basically, there's a bunch of wood chips in here. These are disintegrated wood chips. There's a bunch of chips in there. But all that matters is that there's an auger inside this smoker right now. And basically, it moves these wood chips and all the wood to a fire source right here. And then it just burns them. And that's what heats up everything. We can see the temperature going up right here. We're going to move it up to about two. 250, 240, and we're gonna kind of maintain it at that temperature. Got it set a little higher because my trigger is a little weird, but we'll probably be moving this dial down a little once we get to a higher temperature. Well, one guy that's really excited, and it's him, Furious. Furious just wants all of these ribs. Um, so what I have is a lot of racks. Uh, I think this thing can only hit, fit six racks, to be honest. I'm going to try and fit eight in there. Reason being is I have eight racks. I'd rather make them all because the thing with a smoker, it doesn't matter if it's basically one load in there that takes, let's say, seven hours. Needs the same. So basically, one entire load of that smoker uh, takes about, five, let's say we run it for five, six hours, right? You need the same amount of wood to smoke one chicken breast as you do eight ribs, for example, eight racks of ribs. So you might as well fill up the whole thing. You're gonna be paying the wood cost. The wood there alone, the pellets probably cost me like 20 bucks or something. And so you gotta make sure that, you know, if you're running your smoker, plus electricity, this one's an electric smoker, some of them are not. This one is, uh, I guess that's like the amateur version. Whatever, if you're running it all day, you might as well just fill it up. Uh, you know, I can give these ribs to my parents, to Melissa's parents, all that. We also have a lot of people coming over, so if people like them, they can take some home. So I'm making eight racks. I'm gonna make it happen. I'm gonna make it happen. All right, so what we got today is eight racks. And basically, I gotta take out every single rack, trim off just a little bit of fat, not much, because these aren't really that fatty as it, as it is. But what I need to trim down is something I'll show you. So what we got here is a very thin membrane on top right here. There isn't much that I'm gonna be taking off, but there's a little bit of a thin membrane. You wanna cut that off. Um, if you've ever had ribs where it's like a little bit chewy, that's the reason, that's the reason. If you don't want ribs to be chewy, you gotta take that membrane off. It's a little bit tedious, but it's well worth the trip. Now some of these uh, have less, this one had a lot less here. I have to definitely take all of this off. You can see that little thin layer. That just needs to get removed uh, as much as you can. All right, our ribs are ready to go to get seasoned. Now we're doing a dry rub. Get a cup. This time around I got. Um, and I got this competition grade seasoning that I got from a friend. Um, you can use whatever seasoning you want. But fill up the cup because you're going to need it for this. It's just a lot easier when you put in a cup. For some reason it's just easier to to move it around and shake it on top. So and what we're gonna do is take the seasoning and rub it all over, shake it all top, and just rub it all in. You don't want to overdo it, but you also don't want to underdo it because it's on there for a while and a lot will come off. Not overly complicated. Just pour the seasoning on, get it all in there. Rub it in. on the sides, everywhere, everywhere you can. Nicely coated. So this process probably takes, oops, this process probably takes um, taking the fat off. I mean, it all depends on how many racks you're doing, but it's gonna take you like half an hour to get this done right. Um, maybe a little longer if you haven't done this before. Um, I'm not really, well, it depends. You become better and better, and uh, everything goes faster and faster. I just did two racks. I'm going to just keep going, and hopefully I can just get this done, because i got to get out of here. i got things to do. i got to set these ribs and forget them, you know? You don't really have to monitor them. That's the beauty of it. Uh, as long as you know your temperature is there, you don't really want to open it. You don't need to, like 
water these or anything like that because yeah it's just the beauty the beauty of ribs and smoking ribs So I actually had a shitload of issues with my smoker, but I fixed it now. Whoop. Uh, things are rolling, things are going. Look at that, beauty. Gotta keep that covered though. Temperature at 240 right now. That's where we wanna keep it. Boom, see you guys in a bit. All right guys, we're about an hour and a half in. It's smoking. Our temperature is still pretty good. Let's see how what we're like. Wow, holy cannoli, these look amazing. Today has been a quite a stressful day, uh, but we got everything rolling. I gotta go get a suit fitted for a wedding in two weeks. Another suit, because you've probably seen in the other vlog that I was fitting another suit. So, a little bit chaotic, a little bit busy, but that is life. I feel like the busier your life is, the more like when you get to sit down and rest and relax for a sec, the more you actually enjoy it and the more the more rewarding it just is, you know what I mean, you know? All right, we are about three and a half hours in. Let's see how we're doing. Oh, wow. Wow. Whew. So I got this thing. It's a meat thermometer. Gone ahead and, and inserted the probe into the meat thermometer. We're gonna close the lid while it goes. We're gonna see, we're at a temperature it's really sunny outside, so I'm not sure if you can see this. But we're at a temperature of 180. And 180 is totally fine, we can cook them. But when you get the ribs up to like 190 to 200, that's when everything else breaks apart. And we can see it's going up a little bit more. Oh, 186, 187, 188, 190, all right. So these ribs are pretty much done. I'm gonna leave them on here for another 10 minutes, and we're gonna wrap them, so. Yeah, we're, oh man, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're really good, I wish I'd take them off now. Yes, I should, I'm gonna do that. All right, so I'm gonna turn them off, and I'm gonna get some aluminum foil that I got here, and I'm gonna wrap up each rack individually and let it sit for another two hours until our guests are here. Our guests are gonna come around seven, it's currently almost five, so we can sit for like two hours, and we can warm them back up on the smoker later on uh, for like 10, 20 minutes, uh, and they'll be perfect. All right, go in ahead and wrap all the ribs. We're gonna let them sit there for a couple hours. And then, uh, yeah, let all the juices flow and it's gonna be delicious. So they are done. You can see a nice effortless cut. Right in between every bone. No effort needed whatsoever. I mean, they turned out really good, eh, Rick? Mm -hmm. I think they turned out just like last weekend, which is great. I think the rub has to do a lot with it. Obviously the smoker as well. Oh, I'm not seeing the rib here. I'm like, I was, I was, I was on a roll. And there's, a, there's gotta be one here somewhere. There we go. There we go, that's it. it turned out really, really well. You have to pay copyright for this song. Do a little bite. It turned out really good. It's a long, tedious process. Well worth the trip. Show us your dick. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna take out a rack. One more rack here. And he's been sitting for a while today. See the juices right there. Hold that up. We're gonna cut it up. And see it cuts right oh it's it just falls off the bone, literally. Can't even cut it, it just falls off. Boom. 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 It's too dark. See, Boom. I told you I wanted to put those other Boom. lights up, Peter. Boom. 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 Mel, come, come here. Come here. Come here. Quick little bite. <laughs> you sucking a dick. <laughs> Any good? Very good. Very Okay. Anyways, that's that's the end of the process. We'll catch you guys later. <laughs> How old are you now? Uh, okay.
speech. That was a really yeah. shitty speech. This one on YouTube? Did you Google universal speech? <laughs> <laughs> Rick with no long hair anymore. Yeah. Look at that, hey, look at that. <laughs> hey Mel, did you get a birthday cake? Um, I didn't just get a birthday cake. I got, okay, so this is made, this is a cheesecake made by the beautiful Kasha with a cinnamon roll inside. The cinnamon roll inside? Inside. How do you put it in, oh, how do you do that? Oh, it's a secret. If you guys don't know Mel's like like little like indulgence secret, it's a cinnamon roll. She loves her cinnamon roll. She likes to put them in her mouth and put them in her shoulders afterwards. Oh wait, but look at this. Yeah, these are beautiful too, and these are from the other Kasha. We had Kasha Square tonight. We have tonight. two Kashas. This one right there. Kasha Square. We're Kasha Square tonight. Okay, social, social. There we go. Oh my god, it's gonna Come be on! You're better at blowing than that! How old are you there? You know, like this is just apparently a year ago. Just no, not a year ago. Oh, Peter. This is like three years ago. Two years ago, three years ago. When Melissa started vlogging, Melissa's okay, reflecting so on her birthday. How did, how did it turn out? And so bad. And you don't well, leave, leave a link in the description below. Go watch, go like, go fave, subscribe. Well, happy birthday, babe. Thank you. End of the night. A little Italia, a little soul. Mm hmm. Good night, good night. How do you feel as an old person? Why are you covering your face? I'm showing my card. That it, it, oh, from it says Maldiva. Beautiful. Friends. Anyways, we're gonna call it a day, call it a night. Just enjoying time together. All our friends are gone, so we're just chilling on the couch together. Cause that's that's what couples do. That's what clowns and monkeys do together. Cause I'm the monkey, Melissa's the clown. Yeah. Should we do a clown and monkey T-shirt? I think that, I think I think I feel no I feel like a lot of couples out there the guy is the monkey the girl is the clown if you feel the same way give this video a thumbs up comment below if you agree comment below if you agree well, this place is a disaster it's not really a disaster to be honest it's a pretty easy cleanup uh, we got like Melissa. delicious deliciousness that Melissa got for her birthday oh, yeah. I, want some more. I got leftover ribs about three racks. Uh, one will go to my parents, one will go to Melissa's parents, and then half of this will go to Mike, who uh, gave me the rub and kind of gave me a little, like, lowdown as to how to do these ribs, and half of it will go to us. Um, basically, I just want other people to enjoy them, and I think people enjoyed them today, right? Oh my god, so much. But we had so many racks. Yeah, I made eight racks of ribs. And this isn't me being cocky at all, okay? Like, I did this video showing you guys how a noob, literally a noob, makes ribs. I've made ribs twice on this barbe on this smoker. Twice. And in the last seven days, that's happened. That's right. And um, all I did was be smart about everything and learn the process. And if you're smart about the process, and if you're patient about the process, you can get these right, and they can taste fantastic. So, I got good quality meat. I trimmed everything the way it's supposed to be trimmed. I got a good rub. Make sure you get a good rub, and that's very, very important. And you don't over rub, don't over season. You smoke enough time, you let it sit enough time afterwards, um, I really highly recommend that after you let it sit, you put it back on the smoker for a little bit, especially just to let it warm up and everything. But I feel like that extra little smoke at the end really helps it out. And it just, it tastes fabulous. It tastes fabulous. So uh, hopefully, um, like I said, I did eight racks of ribs. Uh, I took out, this is, this is the Coles notes, all right? Eight racks of ribs, uh, trimmed it off a little bit, took off the membrane off. The rib part, uh, I put on a dry rub 
delicious dry rub. This is a competition rub. You can use any rub that you want. I put the rib side down on the smoker. I let it smoke for about five hours at about 225 to 240 degrees uh, until the internal temperature was about 190 to 200 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. That is the time. It's pretty much ready at 160, but once you hit about 190 to 200, uh, basically what happens is everything just dissolves completely and there's a lot more flavor that gets released within the rib. Then I covered everything. Uh, in this situation, I actually took every single rack of ribs and put them in aluminum foil um, and I let it sit. I literally let it sit for over three hours and it was still warm in my barbecue. Um, not, no heat on, but it was just covered. After that, when guests were ready to eat, I threw it back on the smoker for about 30 minutes. Uh, at about 180, I let it warm up and a little bit of extra smoke. We served it with a little bit of potatoes, uh, a little bit of bread, a little bit of salad. No sauces were added whatsoever. It was delicious, it was fantastic. Well, good morning. We're gonna sign off today's vlog. We had a wonderful time yesterday. Did you have a good time yesterday? Yeah. What, what's wrong? I don't have bra on. Oh, so you, <laughs> did you say did you say that in like a before accent? Like you said I don't have bra on? I don't have a bra on. Oh hey. I thought you said I don't have bra on. I don't have bra on. <laughs> Anyways, um we're gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna go head to the gym. I need to um work off celebrations. I'm trying to do here we go. Black, no. Oh, oh, oh. Gotta figure out how to like transition from going from light like from outside to inside in a more smooth and and here no that doesn't help oh. that's too much now but anyway gonna wrap it up time to which goku games am i drinking today mel mel always tells me what flavor i have to drink uh, maybe i should drink the new flavor no you're gonna have the new flavor that's coming out soon you're gonna have peach mango i've been digging peach mango again i went from like serious on the gummy and then I went serious on the peach mango, then I went serious on sex on the beach, and now I'm back on peach mango. It's all about switching it up. That's, like, you know what, that, that is the truth. Like, you know, pre-workouts, um, even if you really dig one, like let's say one formula, if there's only one flavor, it's hard to like stay on it sometimes just because of the, you need, you need a change. You need a change. Your taste buds like adapt too much and you just, you need a change. Anyways, gonna wrap it up. Color day, color night. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day, wonderful night. Whatever it is that you guys are doing, make sure you do it well. Do I, it. Well do and it. do it, do it do well it. and stay dedicated for life. And um, that's all I got because I gotta go work out and wake up. Catch you guys later. You guys stay sexy, stay hungry. Catch you guys in the day.